Hello, my name is Troy Lehman, and I'm a technical strategist with Symantec. Today I'll be providing a demonstration of the Backup Exec System Recovery Solution, which is an upgrade for the Dell Management Console. This optional plugin to the Dell Management Console enables customers to centrally manage servers running the Backup Exec System Recovery application. As a quick review, Backup Exec System Recovery is an imaging backup application that allows customers to recover complete Windows servers in minutes because it eliminates the need to manually reinstall Microsoft operating systems. The Backup Exec System Recovery application is also well known for its imaging functionality, which can provide seamless migrations from HP to Dell servers or from physical to virtual servers. Now to be clear, the Backup Exec System Recovery application is not free. It is licensed per server and typically managed locally on each server. However, Dell's new management console is free and the Backup Exec System Recovery Solution is also available free of charge. This video will illustrate the integration of Semantic Backup Exec System Recovery Solution with the Dell Management Console to show how together they enable IT administrators to centrally manage and monitor backup operations for all servers running the Backup Exec System Recovery application. Starting from the Dell Management Console portal, we can click on the home icon at the top of the screen to review our options. If the Backup Exec System Recovery Solution plugin for the Dell Management Console has been installed, it will be listed as an option under the heading Backup and Recovery. Once selected, it brings us to the Backup Exec System Recovery Solutions homepage, which provides the status of managed computers. Here you can see the status of the four systems in this environment. All of them are using a trial license, one has been backed up, one needs attention, and three are at risk. None of them have failed. Three operating systems are in the environment, Server 2003 and 2008, as well as one computer running XP. This plugin enables central management of the entire backup environment. In addition to the home portal, which allows administrators to monitor backup status, it enables the creation of backup policies which can be applied to all computers or a subset of systems. By clicking Backup Policies, selecting New Backup Policy, we open the screen for creating a new backup policy. The first step is to name the policy. In this case, we'll name it Demo, demo short for Demonstration. And the next step will be to select a backup type. So there are two types of backups we can do. One would leverage incrementals and the other would be a standalone or full backup. For this demonstration, we're going to go ahead and select an independent recovery point, which is a standalone full backup. The next step is to select the drive to be backed up. By default, all drives are backed up, but again, one of the main benefits of backup exec system recovery is its ability to do a hot image of the operating system. So we're going to go ahead and select C. Because we're doing a manual backup, we don't need to create a schedule at this stage as we'll have the option to do that when we run the backup policy. However, you do need to designate a backup destination when creating the policy initially. To do that, you can just browse the network. Here we'll find a work group with a file share named backup. Once selected, you'll type in your network credentials and hit apply. Once you've done this, the backup destination is saved and it's very easy to select it from a drop-down. So you don't have to go through this process every time you want to create a backup policy. You'll simply go to the drop-down and select the destination that you created. And here you can see some of the destinations we've created. We'll use all the standard options for backup exec system recovery and save the policy. Now before we can run the backup, we've got to enable the policy. So in the upper right hand corner of the screen, we'll just click on the arrow which will give us an option to enable the policy. And with the policy enabled, we'll just navigate down to the tasks area. and select Backup Exec System Recovery Tasks, Run Backup Policy. 
which gives us a menu where we can select the policy we want, review the details in our policy, hit Save Changes, just to confirm that, that those are the details that we want in the policy we're about to run. We can either update the schedule or run the policy now, and then select the computers that we want to apply the policy to. We're just going to select one computer for the demo, load it into the selected computers box, highlight it, and hit go. So now we've kicked off the policy, we've applied it to one computer. If we navigate to the system, we'll see that the Dell Management Console has kicked off a backup job and it's currently running on the PowerEdge 2900. Now I've stopped the recording and started it several times to accommodate the time it would take to back up the entire C drive. But in just a few seconds, we should see the backup complete. And then we'll navigate back to the Dell Management Console. We'll refresh the screen in the upper right hand corner. And from there, we can see that the backup completed successfully. The key takeaway from the demonstration is simply that the Dell Management Console with the Backup Exec System Recovery Solution plugin has the ability to monitor the status of all the Backup Exec System Recovery servers in your environment, as well as create policies that can be deployed across the environment to either one or any subset of systems in your environment. For more information, please visit the Backup Exec System Recovery Solution website at semantic.com. Well, that concludes our demonstration for the day. I hope you found it informative.